Hey guys, and welcome to another segment of Rouse the World. I'm glad that you guys can tune in. Today, what we're going to be doing is a cartoon drawing of Mr. Kevin Love from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of look at the, the, the head as an entire shape. And I'm going to try my best to mimic that. Okay, so the drawing with a Sharpie. You got to be careful. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and go across like that, okay? Now what I'm doing here is I'm just going to kind of gauge it from there, and I'm going to draw his ears in, okay? So I see his ears kind of make a shape like this. So I'm going to make kind of the same shape on both sides of his head, okay? Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to come down here. And I'm gonna draw the bottom of his face. And then I'm gonna draw the other side of his face. Just like so. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put his chin or his neck in. And since he's kind of a tall guy, kind of skinny, I'm gonna um, make sure that I put that in the drawing. Okay. So as you can see, all I did is, excuse me, I'm drawing some shoulders here, and that's how I want it to look. Now, guys, that we have, uh, now that we have the basis of our picture or the foundation, now we're going to begin to work inside the picture. Um, so, whichever way you can see the picture come to you, the best is the way you should do it. There's no right or wrong way. Let's go ahead, and um, I'm going to start to or choose to do this one with hair first. So, as you can see, what I did was I started the in, inside of that shape, and then I kind of came across here, all right? And now I'm gonna do the same shape kind of on the other side. And then I'm just gonna bring it down, just like so. All right, now guys, uh, let's go ahead and start to uh, work inside the face. Uh, I don't know, I'll just I'll take one of his eyebrows and I'll start to make them kind of like what I see in the picture, the general shape. I'm not trying to copy the stroke for stroke. That's not which, how you draw a cartoon. So if you guys keep wondering why you can't get it right, it's because you're trying to draw what you see rather than what you, your interpretation of what you see, you know, is going on. You're trying to copy it exactly and make it look a cartoon. It won't work that way. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, draw the top of his eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw the inner part of the eye, just like so. Okay, and now I'm just gonna draw the bottom part. Okay, put the separators over the top of the eye. Just like so. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this eye over here. Now I can just begin to color in the pupils just a bit, so you can see more of his, uh, more of the eye. Now I'm gonna start working in the nose area. So I'm just gonna put his nose here, and draw the wings, and then I'm gonna draw the outside of the nose. Round it off just a bit. Very good, very good. Start to section off the uh, the middle part of the face, kind of where I want his features to lay. Okay, and then I'm gonna um, just kind of give him some teeth here. So what I do is I'm just gonna kind of look and see how his teeth just kind of do like this. It's the top part of the, the uh, of the drawing on his mouth, and this would be like the bottom part. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just draw his bottom lip and then put the top lip in. And now we're just gonna, from here, start to kind of pencil in his, the, the hair shape. So it looks kind of like so. All right, now let's go ahead and give him some teeth. 
I always uh, concentrate on the front two teeth because those are the ones that people mostly pay attention to. It's not like when you smile, somebody's looking at your back teeth, right? <laughs> yeah. So you want to concentrate on that when you when you go get drawing. You'd be surprised how uh, how much drawing kind of uh, teaches you about the real world. You know, you can um, the principles that you learn can be applied to your everyday life. Drawing requires a great deal of looking ahead. If you can look ahead well, you become a good artist. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, fill in those uh, those eyebrows. Do a little bit of shading on the side of the nose and the face. Okay. So let me just keep going here. I'm almost there, guys. All right, so I'm gonna do another layer on that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start the coloring his hair. So what I'll do is I just put my my first base layer, just scribble that in, and then I'll come back with my second layer. So let me. I'm using a a, a little crayon too. So I got it out of the kids section at at Walmart. You'd be surprised what you what kind of art where you can produce. It's always the artist. It's never the utensil. People think if you got a thousand dollar pen, you can draw a thousand dollar picture. That's <laughs> you know doesn't work that way, guys. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of mimic the shapes that I see here in his in his in his uh his hair. So I'm just about finished. I'm just going to color it in kind of dark there so that it stands out real nice. And then this part right here, that, that little plane that I made, I just make that. And I also, I do all my dark stuff kind of last, but I do skip around the picture a lot. I'm kind of notorious for skipping around the picture. So it's all about what makes you the better artist. You know, you got to find a system that works for you, but you know, just understand the rules of the game and then once you understand the rules then you can get fancy and try to manipulate or come up with your own schemes to try to get around doing the work. <laughs> All, right. All right, almost guys, almost. So y'all just give me a minute here. Just put in his mustache. Okay. Now I'm just gonna Give them some smile lines there. I like to use my these crayons and stuff because they're not messy. You can after you put your line work down, and then they can cover up little mistakes. Like if you make a small mistake, you can cover it up. You know what I mean? With these really well, so I definitely recommend using them. And then they're cheap. They only cost like two about two dollars a box or something. Yep. Okay. All right, guys, and we're about to close in or close out. Okay, let's put a little shade over the ears here. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put in his jersey. So, uh, let me see what I wanna, let me see, I'm just gonna put his shoulders to come here and then maybe make him come down just a little bit more. And then what I'll do, I'll bring his jersey here and make him look like a, you know, cause he's a skinny guy. We'll make him look real skinny. <laughs> but muscular, of course. You yeah. know. All right, and then we'll put Cavaliers over here. I believe he is number zero. So I'll just do a little bit of, you know, fancy footwork right here. All right. And uh, excuse me. Last but not least, let me move this over. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting his uh, put his name in. Make it this real quick. Okay. So we're just gonna put his name. 
So I'll put Kevin right here and Kevin Love. So, guys, uh, basically, um, that's how you would draw a picture of Kevin Love if you want to learn how to do so. It, it was just cool to watch. Them. Uh, I got some more cool stuff to show you. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and don't forget, please to subscribe below. You guys have a great day.